We are watching Kate's breaststroke above the water, commentary by Coach Chris. Now, the first time I run it, I like to just run it at full speed so we can kind of see what's going on. So she's doing a really good job trying to execute a lot of the stuff we're working on. And with the breaststroke, a lot of the fine details are more visible underwater. So I'm going to touch on a lot of the stuff, but we're going to get more in depth when we look at it underwater because it's a lot clearer from that underwater angle what we can see. Uh, main things we look for above water. Okay, and what we talk about a lot is the height in the water. Okay, and so I want to stop right here because you're getting pretty high in the water and you're, you're doing a really good job of that. We got the shoulders kind of shrugged forward. We're kind of in this position. That's really, really good. The one thing I don't like though is we've got the hands and the arm in what I call the prayer position. It's like that classic image of someone saying a prayer. Okay, you got your elbows in, your hands are coming up and over. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna extend down and forward and not necessarily straight forward. And so what I, what I want to do, it's just what goes up must comes down. You got to remember that. So if you bring the hands up and swoop the hands up like that, they're going to want to go down in that initial movement as we extend into our recovery, um, which is going to keep you a little lower in the water. And that's why we're not quite as high as we want to be, because we can see we've got about half your arm and then about the other half of the arms underwater. And we want to get the elbows almost all the way up to the surface. So um, just under the surface. We're going to get the elbows, forearm, hands, almost directly under the surface. Still, I think you've got a really good high body position, and your timing is good enough that you're getting up where we want you. Just we got another inch or two to go, and I think part of what help, would help that is not bringing those hands out quite so high. Now we got a good extension and we're getting the head down and I can tell because your hips are coming to the surface. Again, we'll take a look underwater and see what we see, but the head timing, the head movement, head lifts to start the pull, head drops to begin the recovery and the kick. So I really like that. Okay, and we're being patient. We're finishing our kick before we start the next stroke. That's really, really critical. Solid turn. I really like that turn. You're staying low in the water, not rising up, not getting too close to the wall. Looks like we're mistiming the pullout just a little bit, and we'll cover that in more detail once we actually get underwater here. And on this second lap, the head's staying just a little high, not getting quite as low as we were. But again, I like a lot of what you're working on and what you're doing because it's showing up in your stroke. We're doing a lot of drills to try to get the timing right with the kick. We're doing a lot of drills to try and get the energy up and over so we can do that skipping stone breaststroke that kind of skips across the surface as opposed to the old dolphin dive breaststroke that dives up and down. So you're doing a really good job grasping that. Um, let's take a look underwater, look at some of the mechanics and see a few things if we can uh, see them a little clear uh, more clearly.